Hello, it's so good to see you again. I am Barbara and together with Daniel I will start a historic sailing ship, Flying Coney. The main task for the upcoming weeks is to get Flying Coney finally ready to sail. Fixing the engine was a big step forward. But by the early afternoon this thing will be purring away like a kitten with a tummy full of warm milk. Now we just have to tidy everything up, have a look at the steering hydraulics and maintain the gearbox. Our long-term viewers probably remember that we wanted to leave Lelystad for quite a while. And each time we thought we were ready to go, something broke and we had to fix it. So we are really looking forward to our first journey on Flying Coney in quite a while. But before we can leave the harbour, we have to get rid of all the stuff that accumulated on deck, like the broken diesel heater or the bathroom that we ripped apart last autumn. Uh, hello, I'm uh, Tangi. I'm from France, Brittany, the Celtic part on the west. I'm 23 and I just uh, joined uh, the project of Flying Connie for about a month. I grew up on the, uh, the seaside, so I was always around boat all my life, pretty much since I could walk. And worked in a port before in the south of Brittany, a little town called Saint Marine. And I found the project absolutely stunning because I loved how the boat looks. And uh, she's a really pretty, like, a pretty lady. And um, yeah, in one of the videos, they um, they said that they were seeking volunteers. From somebody who has been here, who made that decision, do it. Don't even think about it. Just get over here and do it. You'll enjoy yourself immensely when it stops raining. And I said to myself, yeah, why not? If I don't do it now, uh, when will I do it? So, hell, I had some free time and decided to join. In two weeks, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Since cleaning is probably no one's favorite task, we started the day with a short dinghy ride. Actually, we needed the dinghy to get rid of the diesel heater, and the output engine needed an oil change. And you can't do an oil change on a cold engine. So basically, it was absolutely necessary to have some fun with the dinghy. But all joking aside, we really had to do an oil change and Tanki, our first long-term volunteer on Flying Coney, had some experience with outboard engines and offered to have a look at it. Um, well, I'm pretty much here to help, so a bit of woodworking. I've had experience with uh, hydraulic systems. Uh, especially hydraulic winches, but those pump systems and uh, tubing is quite the same. Uh, installing valves, stuff like that, to make the system more redundant. And um, general boat work, uh, getting up seaworthy and uh, nice looking. In the beginning, especially in the gearbox, uh, even if it's precisely machined, uh, PCs need to find a place for themselves, and they make you know their. I don't know how to explain that properly, but uh, to find their seating properly, even though they're precisely made, there's still a bit of adjustment that needs to be made. Yeah, so after 10, 20 hours, uh, do the first oil change because things grind a little bit together, but it looks perfectly healthy to me.
After the Anki successfully maintained our outboard engine, it was time to get rid of our old broken diesel heater. Since Flying Coney is way too big for this harbor, we can't simply move alongside a jetty and lift the diesel heater ashore. The only option we have to get rid of heavy stuff is to lift it in the dinghy. Luckily, the lads from the harbour helped us to lift the diesel heater ashore. It would have been very hard to lift it up on our own. Overall, the harbour was a big help throughout the last two years we spent here. They always tried to help us and it was never a problem when we asked if we could stay longer. At the beginning, we only wanted to stay for two weeks. Time flies when you're refitting a ship. So if you ever happen to be in this area and looking for a place to stay, we definitely can recommend the Yachthafen Lelestad. And the next task was to bring the broken heater and some other scrap metal to the scrapyard. Since we already rented the trailer for the day, we figured we better get rid of the bathroom as well. So after lifting 550 kilograms of scrap metal off the boat, on the trailer and off the trailer again, we continued the workout with all the wood we stored on the port side during the winter. So after a very long and exhausting day, Daniel literally hit the wall. Anyway, we finally have a tidy deck and that was a big step forward. Because with all the stuff loosely stored on deck, 
next to the exhaust pipe and next to the mooring line, there was no way to safely maneuver the ship. And after a good night's rest, we decided to tackle the next big task. Pressure washing flying coney, getting rid of all the growth on the bulwark and the deck, which makes it very slippery. And while we are at it, rinse down all the rust stains with oxalic acid. Here on the um, rust stains that were left with the rain, um, we are using and applying oxalic acid, which is a quite weak um, organic acid. Um, we use it because it reacts with the rust, but mostly it doesn't attack the paint. Uh, although it can be quite corrosive, but I'm using proper protective equipment. And yeah, it works pretty well. We've done it on pretty much the whole starboard side yesterday. Definitely works really nice. We can't see the stains anymore for the most part. So yeah, we're gonna keep doing it and make the sheep look nice. I think Flying Coney looks amazing. She is clean, there is almost no rust left and she finally looks like a proper ship again. So a huge thanks to Tan Ki who volunteered to do all these boring and exhausting tasks that were necessary to have a good looking and safe ship again. And I think it really pays off. Each time we look at Flying Coney now it puts a big smile on our faces and we can't wait to start our journey. But all this wouldn't be possible without the generous support of our lovely Patreons. On Patreon we share real-time updates and we are always looking forward to our weekly crew meetings on Zoom, where we get the chance to discuss upcoming plans and projects. And we have some really exciting stuff coming up. So a huge thanks to all of you for making this project, the videos and quite soon our first journey possible. And if you want to join our Patreon crew too, you find the link in the description. And you even get a one week free trial. But that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.